Okay, round two, folks. We got bees in the floor joists. And um, you can see they're going in right here. The guy told me twice in the past he's had bees just around the corner on this house in the same area as the floor joists. He actually tried, you know, put up this new board back in the day and then the trim above it rotted and broke off, so they got it anyway. But you can see we're backed up right here. Uh, his fence is, see the cars going by on the other side of the fence there? That's Kingwood Drive. So I was just down about a mile to the left the other day when I got those bees out of the tree. Um, so hot area I guess and uh, yeah just across the street that direction I have a good friend who's bought several beehives from me so when I got this call I sent him a joke said he's been stalking the neighborhood with bees you know but anyway gonna get up here get this hardy cut loose so I got room to work and see what we find behind it I'll get it all opened up and then I'll show you what we find oh this is lovely y'all can't see them they're in this cavity about three feet deep I can see the ends of all the combs. All the combs are running this direction. Can't read them from the outside. So, the uh, insulation here I pulled out. Actually, let me jump up there and show you guys. This guy had told me he had bees before. He said that he didn't think they were in this area. Apparently he can't remember. Because there's where the colony used to be, where it was cut out by a different beekeeper. We then stopped all the insulation in here to keep the bees out. And the bees just went past the insulation and went a little deeper. So, I'm gonna have to do some measuring here and um, see about going inside and going through the ceiling. We're inside now, looking at this beautiful drywall ceiling and about to unleash some carnage. So, measured from the exterior wall, came in about 10 feet because it was 10 foot 6 from the exterior wall. So, came in about 10 feet, came this way about 3 feet, and I uh, got to feeling around up here and found me a nice little hot spot. So, gonna go ahead and get my saws all open and uh, just, I'm gonna start with just a shallow cut right underneath where I feel the hot spot and then just kinda go out the other side and around until I get everything opened up and then we'll see how big they are. There they are, this is a big one. They've been here for what, a year? Well, probably a little over here. Yeah, probably a little over based on the size and the color, but I got it all cut open, they're just right here in the floor joist and y'all can see if you look, Right up in here, old wax marks from where they were before. So they actually just built right in behind that. Um, so we're gonna start vacuuming them up as much as we can and start cutting out all this honeycomb and start working them towards the exterior wall and get it all cleaned up. We got them all out. So now you can really see the extent of the nest. They're about four feet long, 11 inches high, and about 18 inches wide. All right, 14, whatever, you 16 inch center floor joist. Big nest, regardless, and uh, defensive, just defensive enough to annoy me. So <laughs> I ended up putting my suit on just because I was tired of them stinging my forearms and buzzing around my face. Um, never did put my gloves on, so of course I still got stung on my hand and had a few crawl up the sleeve in the suit. But it, it was better than it would have been, I think. But got all the comb out, never saw the queen, but did a lot of vacuuming, so I'm sure I got her somewhere in there. Now I've just got some big mega clumps of bees on the windows to get cleaned up. and. Uh, We'll get all this area to be quick, run them out of here, and get my box set up outside, and we'll be done. 